second one I'm just going to run through, which is crevice corrosion and a really uh, amazing story of crevice corrosion on a stainless steel pop shaft, which is only five years old and something I showed at the Southampton Boat Show the last couple of years. So I hope you find this of, of, of interest. So there I was out in Ireland looking at this lovely stainless steel pop shaft. Um, it was in a, in a five year old Beneteau, nothing wrong with the boat in this case. And this is what's considered duplex stainless steel. But the propeller was slightly loose and I was a bit concerned about it. Um, the guide replaced the propeller and what had actually happened was the propeller he'd put back on was a slightly different taper to this taper on the shaft and in doing so he'd created an area here where the um, there was a small amount of water trapped within the taper of the propeller against the shaft uh, which has basically starved the chromium and you then get this crevice corrosion this is probably one of the best examples of crevice corrosion I think I've ever had. The clue for me where the shoulder of the propeller shaft, the boss, sat was these tiny little pinholes. That's all I could see at the start and the propeller was slightly loose on the taper. And the boatyard was just going to wind it up and tighten it up. And I said, do you know what? I think we ought to take it off just to make sure that the keyway, which is this bit here, uh, hasn't been damaged because I thought perhaps the propeller had had a had um, a loading on it or something. Anyway, they uh, they took the propeller off and I think we were all gobsmacked to see what we found, which is probably one of the best examples of crevice corrosion I've ever had, um, where the starvation of oxygen from being the water being trapped under the taper has occurred. And bear in mind, this is duplex. This, is, this, is, this shaft, at the time we discovered this, was five years old. So just think about when you have stainless steel underwater and how important it is to make sure it gets oxygen. Um, well, I really hope you find that useful. And uh, again, if you have a chance, please share and please subscribe to my YouTube. I'm really grateful for those of you who regularly come back time and time again uh, and share this journey of my surveyor's notebook.